Oh my God. <sighs> it's cold outside. It's cold in here. Look at this. Look at this. Actually, I just walked up to go get a cup of coffee. It's so cold, McDonald's is closed. They're closed. Not only are they closed, Hardee's is closed. Everything around here is closed. I don't like this, guys. I don't like that. something oh well let's go see what the roads are like maybe maybe something's open down the road if there's a road left last night was bad this storm could have taken away the roads it was it was worse than a hurricane last night well, so far at this moment this guy in front of me is keeping the roads pretty clean or gotten them pretty clean except for the lane he's in these high winds are kind of treacherous, but at the moment, I'm cruising right along. I'm sorry for not recording too much, guys, today. It's it's not easy. You have to you have to pay attention to what you're doing. And right now, I have to pay attention to that truck stop because I, I need coffee. This is driving me crazy, driving like 35 miles an hour on the interstate. Man, coming in here was a mistake. This parking lot is terrible. Oh well, got my jacket on. It's time to get some coffee and get back out here and do it again. Right, Kitty? She's a little worried, I think. She doesn't, look at her, she looks worried. It is as wide as our government right now. Look at it out there. It is insane. Uh-oh, someone spun out. Couple cars. And now the funness begins. For the next 20 miles, I'll be doing about eight or nine miles an hour. Joy, joy. So on the CB anyway, they're talking that I have about 44 miles of driving like this at about 8 miles an hour on this super slippery icy road and then it clears up a little bit. I guess the roads clear up. They cleaned them. They haven't cleaned none of this stuff. So I'm not exactly sure how long it's going to take to drive 44 miles at about 8 to 10 miles an hour. Could take a while. Yes, it could take a while. I scared the urine out of her. I scared the urine out of her. She thought we were sliding off the road. We weren't. We were just pulling into a rest area real fast. I had to go bathroom. Check this out. Let me let me take you outside. It's gonna be noisy because my truck is running. I'm not gonna shut it off. But check this out. It's snow and ice. Okay, I have to be careful getting out of the truck because this is where you place your feet. It's pretty slippery. But would you look at this? So you got, this is pretty deep. I'd say it's a good foot deep, but then under it, you get this amazing ice. Woo! And that's, that's what we're driving on. It's dangerous to walk on. It's crazy to drive on. It's, it's crazy to drive on, cat. Let's see if I can get in here without falling off these stairs. <sighs> Look out that window. Look at, Look at that guy. He's, he's leaving. Thirteen degrees out. Thirteen degrees! Great. 
but no more snow. Well, there's a little bit of snow there, but I'm out of it, guys. I survived. For a brief time, I didn't think I was going to. I didn't think I was going to survive. The roads got pretty hectic, so much so that I really didn't shoot much video. I was just, I was glued to that steering wheel. And, and I think I had to change my underwear probably three times. But we made it. We made it, kitty. We survived. Yeah, I don't think she got that cold. She's a she's a ball of fur. Anyway, guys, that's about it. Um, a lot of people out there from yester or last video I posted were saying, "Be careful, drive safe, stay warm." I did. If I was in any danger, I decided to pull over on the side of the road and wait for the snow plows to get busy. I, I wasn't. I love my job but it's not worth my life. So anytime I feel threatened or in danger, I, I pull over and, I, and I'm really fortunate to work for a company that says, hey, you know what? Your life's more important than that load. Take your time. If you feel that it's not safe, pull over. And, and I do. Something else I wanna say before I sign off is I wanna give my best wishes to an incredible family, an awesome person, Mr. Keith Holt from Hillbilly Gardens and Toyland Museum in Kentucky. Everybody go check it out. Exit 16 on Interstate 24 in Kentucky. Uh, he just lost his son today. And uh, I shared a video that he made in remembrance to his son. On uh, I shared it on Google+, Twitter, and Facebook. You guys go check that out. and You can leave comments in his video below. Uh, pretty sad day in the hillbilly family of Keith Holt and uh, I, I'm so terrible at condolences is that the word Condol condolencing people condol whatever I'm, I'm really bad at it I never know what to say when it comes to those situations all I can say is that family I've met them one time and they got me hooked they're an they're a, a amazing group of people and um, I, I'm really sad for them and I, I hope that they can get through this over time I, I just I like I said I just never know what to say but maybe you guys do and you can go to his video in remembrance of his son Ian and um, leave some comments for him I, I don't know it, it sucks it, it, it's really terrible all right, guys, until the next time, I'm going to go ahead and slap this video together, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.